It's time for some pop news. All right, thank you, George. Thank you. Good morning to our incredible audience and to you. Our top story today is West Side Story. Steven Spielberg has just wrapped his highly anticipated take on the classic musical, giving fans a little sneak peek there. Behind the scenes at his blockbuster remake, posting on his Amblin production company's Twitter feed, there's Ansel. Elgort and Rachel Ziegler, who play the leads, Tony and Maria, as well as Ariana DeBose and David Alvarez, who take on the roles of Anita and Bernardo. And here's Spielberg with Rita Moreno, oh, the one and awesome. only. She won an Oscar, of course, for playing Anita in the 61 movie. She'll also be seen in this new version in a new role. Spielberg shared a personal letter about the production, saying filming the musical, and this is big, coming from Steven Spielberg, who has made so many amazing films, that it was a journey without precedence. And he gave a huge shout out to the cast and crew, writing my brilliantly talented, fiercely committed, generous, and apparently inexhaustible Exhaustible cast and crew of hundreds have given our film everything they've got. That says a lot. Can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see this. He also took a moment to thank our great city of New York and also Patterson, New Jersey, where they filmed so many scenes for putting up with, as he says, more than a few mid-street dance sequences. <laughs> you guys know traffic here, right? Yeah. Uh, we cannot wait to see how that all works out. West Side Story lands in theaters December 18th, 2020. Wow. Jim Carrey is also in the news this morning, everybody. Jim is adding author to his resume. The actor and comedian has written a novel titled Memoirs and Misinformation, which I know, even the title's funny. His publisher has described it as a fearless and semi-autobiographical deconstruction of a persona. Carrie is sticking to some topics he's familiar with, Hollywood, agents, celebrity, privilege, friendship, loneliness, romance, which equals really good novel. Uh, he also apparently covers growing up in Canada and has it has a cataclysmic ending of the world in there. Carrie says about the novel, quote, none of this is real and all of it is true. <laughs> That's his quote. That's <laughs> He co-wrote it with Dana Bashan. It comes out in May, a must-read for sure. And finally, to one of our favorite chefs, cooking up something quite personal, Ina Garten, otherwise known as the Barefoot Contessa, has written loads of best-selling cookbooks that we all love, but we can soon dig in to her first foray into her very personal memoir. And what a story she has to tell. The Food Network star was actually a budget analyst for the federal government without a single ounce of cooking experience. She burned out a few well in the 70s. She threw it all away. She moved to the Hamptons here in New York to start over. She bought a little gourmet shop called the Barefoot Contessa and the rest is delicious history. She hopes her story inspires others to find their passion. That memoir expected to come out in 2023. I just got the chills. Yeah. Cookbook I was able to crack too. The recipes are great, but it's not intimidating. So thank you, Ina, because it's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lara. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.